particularly thrilled to see all these uh, young minds uh, at our university today. Respect each other. Help each other in learning. Our, our students, our graduates coming from this university would be the best. It's not about equipping that student with the academic qualification, but also preparing them for the workplace. Hi, I'm Jennifer Bang Waiko. Welcome to Uni TV. On this episode, we explore the Department of Lands and Surveying and the Department of Architecture and Building at the PNG University of Technology. Come with me as we explore the Department of Lands and Surveying. Hi, I'm with Professor Powell from the Department of Lands and Surveying. Uh, Professor Powell, could you please tell me a little bit about the department and what goes on here? And uh, at present, we have we have got three sections, uh, namely the surveying, geographical information science, and property studies. So they are standalone sections, and we give separate degrees, undergraduate and postgraduate degrees. And then we have got the PhD program also, PhD in Geomatics. Whoever completes MPhil or MSc, they can join for the PhD program. Mm. So now this is uh, quite operational and every year we are getting good batch of uh, students. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Kapi. He's the Deputy Head of Department. Uh, Mr. Kapi, could you please tell me a little bit about this section here and what sort of services it provides for the students? Uh, the thing that uh, this uh, section is uh, more unique because it's the only course uh, that is uh, provided in the country. You won't find surveying being provided in other technical uh, colleges or other universities in the country. Every year uh, we graduate uh, out at least uh, 30 or less than 30 students going out to the industry. And uh, this is one of the uh, leading professions in Papua New Guinea, especially when we deal with uh, developments, uh, we deal with uh, uh, customer lens, or dealing with uh, constructing new road links, bridges and everything. Hi, I'm here in the GIS section of the department, and I'm here with Camilla, who's a technical officer. Uh, Camilla, could you please tell me a little bit about this section here? Uh, this section is, uh, deals with geographic information system and remote sensing. So we have softwares that we use to um, process that data. So we get the data in forms of satellite images, aerial photographs, topographic maps, GPS, NL GPS, comparing images to the actual ground data. And then coming back to the lab, and then we teach them using this uh, computer software to process and store data, as well as uh, analyzing data. Hi, I'm with Kathy, who's a PhD student here with the department. Um, Kathy, could you please tell me a little bit about the research that you're doing here with Unitech? So my research study basically, it's, uh, it's a very long term hydromorphometric analysis of uh, and hazard assessment of the major river basins in Papua New Guinea using GIS and remote sensing technology. As the students who are already in the department, we are privileged to be learning this technology. We have problems because of the, uh, the remoteness of the area. That's why GIS and remote sensing is a really good technology thanks to the department and the courses and the expertise. We can be able now to just sit in our labs have our set satellite images and extract information from them. Hi, I'm here with Paulus and James from the Property Studies section. Um, Paulus, can you please tell me a little bit about your studies? My research is mostly into um, rental houses in the informal settlement of Lee and Port Mosby. I, I got a GAP scholarship, graduate assistant program, we received fortnightly allowances. And uh, last year, towards the end, we also got um, funds from the Unitech to support us, traveling down to Port Mosby doing our research. I'm currently doing my uh, MPhil, Master of Philosophy in Property Studies to find housing affordability. Uh, Unitech is 100% uh, supportive. Hi, I'm here with Dr. Sariman. He's the senior head lecturer here with the architecture and building department. 
Um, Dr. Saruman, could you please tell me a little bit about the architecture and building department? Two programs, one for architecture and one for building. Both programs run five years. Uh, by the time students get to third year, they do a, uh, they get a diploma if they pass, and when they do well, they proceed into the into the degree program. So at the end of five years, they get a bachelor of architecture for the architects and bachelor of building for the for the building program. Uh, so, Dr. Saruman, could you please tell me how some of the facilities or equipment are used here to uh, help develop the students? We have a workshop and we have a resource center. Uh, so the workshop is mainly used for building practical construction solutions uh, for students to uh, get a, a better understanding of the practical aspects of uh, architecture and building. Uh, Dr. Saruman, could you please share with me uh, what careers students go into after graduating with Unitech? Uh, there are two two professions, there's architecture and there's building. So they are, the architecture profession has architectural offices uh, and there are some government departments that uh, uh, hire architects. For the builders, when they graduate, they can go and work in a building firm. And because they're graduates, they'll, uh, they normally they work for a number of years, gain experience and uh, depending how they, they do, um, uh, others can go and start their own firms, building firms. As you have seen, the Department of Land and Surveying is a leading innovator in surveying technology. And the Department of Architecture and Building is developing competitive graduates for the workforce. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.